when it comes to triangles, there's something really neat about all the triangles or all the angles of a triangle. So um, for this for this first section, it says to write down the angle measures for three triangles and find their sums. And that's supposed to be based on actual pictures they give you. I'm going to help you out here. So I'm going to give you the three angle measures for three different triangles. I'm going to tell you the first one is 40, 60, and 80. That is an 8, by the way. The second one is 100, 20, and 60. And the third one is 50, 70, and 60. So the instructions say to write down the angle measures, which we did, and find their sums. So to find their sums, that means I add them up. So if you were to add 40 and 60 and 80, you're going to get 180. If you were to add 120 and 60, you're going to get 180. And if you were to add 50, 70, and 60, you're going to get 180. Because the angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Okay? That is always true. And that says it on page 8. The angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And that is always They are always 180 degrees, every single time without fail. So it says in triangle ABC, if the measure of angle A is 37, the measure of angle B is 87, I'm supposed to find C. Well, if it's a triangle, sometimes it helps to have a picture. Here's triangle A, B, C. They tell us angle A is 37, angle B is 87, C is in question. Well, I know that if I add them together, 37 plus 87 plus C, it has to equal 180 because that is always true. 37 plus 87 is 124. So now I have that 124 plus C equals 180. I'm going to solve it. I'm going to get C by itself, so I'm going to subtract 124 from both sides. When I do that, I get that C equals 56 degrees. So that would be our missing angle, would be 56. The next one says triangle ABC. Measure of angle A is 2X plus 3. Measure of angle B is 3X plus 5. And the measure of angle C is 5X plus 2. Again, I know that all the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So I'm going to draw a picture because I just think drawing a picture helps. This is A, B, and C. So we know that A is 2x plus 3. We know that B is 3x plus 5. We know that C is 5x plus 2. And together, all of these add up to 180, because that's what happens to the angles of a triangle. So 2x plus 3 plus 3x plus 5 plus 5x plus 2 must equal 180. So if I start combining my like terms, anything with an x is considered a like term. So 2x plus 3x plus 5x. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 is 10x. Then I have plus 3, plus 5, and plus 2. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 2 is 10. I know that equals 180. I can solve this by subtracting 10 first. So I get 10x equals 170. Then I can divide both sides by 10, and I end up getting that x equals 17. So, so far I know that x, just x, is 17. I still need to find a, b, and c. 
And in order to find A, B, and C, I'm going to have to plug in 17 for X. So I know that to find the measure of angle A, it is 2 times X, which I know X is 17, plus 3. 2 times 17 is 34. And 34 plus 3 is 37. So the measure of angle A is actually 37 degrees. To find the measure of angle B, I'm told that it is 3x plus 5. And again, I know that x is 17. 3 times 17 is 51. And 51 plus 5 is 56. So that's angle B. The last one is the measure of angle C, which is 5x plus 2. And I know that x is really 17. So I'm going to do 5 times 2, which is 85. And 85 plus 2 is 87. The measure of angle C is actually 87 degrees. So there's a rule in math. And the rule says that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle, then the third angles of the triangle are congruent. And all that's saying is if I had two angles here, two triangles, I'm sorry, and I knew that the top angles were congruent. And I knew that the right angles were congruent. Well, then by default, the other ones have to be congruent too. They can't be left out of that. So in that case, as long as two angles are congruent, then the third angles must be congruent as well. So we're talking now about exterior angles. We've been talking about interior. Interior is, always, interior is always 180 in a triangle. Exterior angles are outside. Exterior angles are made when we continue drawing our sides. And looking at the angles that are made by connecting these um, lines, these line segments. So there's really two sets of angles that are created. It says there's six exterior angles, which is true, but I'm going to group them into two sets. The first set I'm going to do in pink. So there's this one, this one, and this one. The second set I'm going to do in blue. And there's this one, this one, and this one. And that's where the six exterior angles come from. Well, each pink and blue pair that's across from each other so these two, these two, and these two, they're going to be congruent angles because they're vertical. And the rule says that if you add up either the blue set or the pink set, it doesn't matter, but one of the sets, not all six, the pink set will equal 360. And the blue set will equal 360. So if you add the exterior angles, the rule technically says the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. The exterior angles of a triangle will always add up to 360 degrees. Notice it's not all six of them. It's just any three. So I have this triangle here. I'm supposed to label an exterior angle. So I'm going to draw this path out here, and I'm going to call this point D. So this angle out here would be my exterior angle. Okay, it says I'm supposed to label my exterior angle, and then I'm supposed to label my remote interior angles. That's a very funny phrase. Well, interior, we've been talking about that. That means inside. So I know I'm labeling two angles that are inside. The word remote means far away. So that means I'm labeling the two, because it says there's two of them, 
far away angles that are inside. Well, that would be angles B and C. So this would be my exterior. And then these two would be my remote interior. And there is a rule that says if you add up the two remote interior angles, we'll call one of them 55 and the other one 40, the exterior angle, not the, two, not the ones next to it, the one on the other side, is going to be the same or equal to the sum of those two. So to give you a visual on this triangle, this picture here, what this is saying is that if I had a triangle with this angle is 95 degrees, then this one could be 55, and this one could be 40. And 55 plus 40 is going to give you 95. If my two remote interior angles, the far away angles, were 60 and 17, then my exterior angle on the other side, not close to it, is going to be 77. If my remote interior angles were 103 and 14, then the exterior angle far away from it is going to be 117. The exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So it says triangle ABC has an exterior angle of DAB. So I'm going to draw this picture. I have, I have angle DAB. And I know it's triangle A, B, C. They tell me that um, it also has two remote interior angles, angle B and C. Angle B is 52. And angle C is 47. I'm supposed to find angle A and find angle D, A, B. Well, to find angle A, let's start there. I'm talking about the three angles of a triangle, which I know. They add up to 180 degrees. So that means that A plus 52 plus 47 equals 180. So if I add 52 and 47, I get A plus 99 equals 180. Then I can subtract 99 from both sides, and I get that A equals 81. So this missing angle that I know what it was, A, is 81 degrees. Now it asks me to find DAB, this exterior angle. And there's a couple ways I can do that. First way is what we just talked about was that if I add these two, my two remote exterior angles, I should get whatever DAB is. And the second way, and the way you're probably most likely to remember, is that if you look at DAB and you look at 81, these two angles are considered a linear pair. They're right next to each other. And as always, when two angles are right next to each other, they always add up to 180. So to find it, all I have to do, I can do what he thinks. I can do 52 plus 47, which is going to give me 99. Or I can do 180 minus 81, which is also going to give me 99. Either way, I get that DAB, the outside angle, is 99 degrees. We're going to skip that part and move on to the checkup. So questions 1 through 10 just ask me to find the unknown angle. So I know for 1, I have two inside angles. I'm trying to find the third inside. I know that if I add the insides, I should get 180. 40 plus 80 is 120. 120 plus x equals 180 now. Solving for x, which means I'm going to subtract 120 from both sides. And I get that x equals 60 degrees. This missing angle here is 60. Number 3. I have 113 plus 15 plus x equals 180. Just to get x by itself, 113 plus 15 is 128. So 128 plus x equals 180. I'm going to minus 128 from both sides. So I get that x equals 52. 
So that would be the missing angle there. 5 is literally the same type of problem. 73 plus 81 plus x equals 180. 73 plus 81 is 154 plus x equals 180. I'm going to subtract 154 from both sides. And I get that x equals 26 degrees. Number seven, a little bit different because this time I have an outside angle. So I can approach this one of two ways. I can find this inside angle because I know that 99 plus that inside angle, the one that's I colored in pink, must equal 180. Or, what we also learned was that if I add these two remote interior angles, it should give me the same as the exterior angle. So that means if I add 41 plus x it should equal 99. I'm solving for x, so I'll have to do is subtract 41 from both sides and I get that x equals 58. Lastly, number 9 says what is the value of x? Give me a little bit of trickery here got to do a lot of thinking about this because they give me this outside piece. So if this outside piece is 105, then I can do a little math to find this piece here because I know that together these two parts have to add up to 180. So I can do 180 minus 105, which is going to give me 75. And that tells me this inside piece is 75 degrees. The other thing I know is that if this angle up here is 32, then this angle on the inside is 32 because they are vertical angles. Well, now I have three, eight, two angles of a triangle. I just need to find the third one, so I add them up. 75 plus 32 plus x equals 180. Because when you add the three angles of a triangle, it's always 180. 75 plus 32 is 107, plus x equals 180. Then I can subtract 107 from both sides, and I get that x equals 73. So that would be my missing angle measure, it would be 73 degrees.